Why do we have such a problem in saying no to someone? Why do we have a problem saying no to that opportunity? Is it because we don't feel we can let others down? Or is it really because we need to feel needed? It can be an unhealthy need to feel appreciated, to feel accepted, that can be driving our decisions. When you and I don't have that breathing space to express who we really are, to actually have time to think, to be creative, space to explore new options and avenues, then we end up being owned by others and being owned by other things. Today you need to set a boundary, I need to set boundaries, clarify the boundaries so that I can own the life for which I'm alive. What I love about what Jesus is saying here is that Martha had so many options of what she could be doing. And she couldn't say no to them. Why? Because she was driven by an appetite to feel like she was needed. Her worth was in her doing, but Mary's worth was in her being with Jesus. It wasn't that Jesus was advocating a lack of activity, but Jesus was saying, you will always have many options. And those many options are the things that you could be doing. But there's only one thing, in fact, you should be doing, and that is having time to be with Jesus, having those times to build relationally. Everything in life that is healthy flows from relationship. And so when we boil everything down to what is essential, it is about relationships with God, with others, and in fact, with ourselves. If we can't be with ourselves, others, and God and invest the best of our time in those areas, then what we do is we end up building unhealthy appetites in our doing. If you want your doing to be effective, and God wants your doing to be effective, we need action, we need to do stuff to achieve the results that God has called you to see. But first and foremost, we need to build up a core of being, being with God, being with others, and being with ourselves in deep, meaningful ways that builds a spiritual resilience and clarity on who am I? Why am I alive? When I invest under the bonnet of my belief and my desires, then I start to build up clarity on my priorities and on my behavior, what I should be doing, what I should be investing my time into. We need to start to set those boundaries in our lives and, and trust me, I believe you're gonna start to see a greater effectiveness in your life in the kingdom assignment that God has got for you. Come on, remember today and every day, you're a champion and there's more inside of you than you think.